Hi, my name's Gary Nolliver. I'm a luthier, and over the next year or so, I'm going to be making um, a parlor guitar. And I thought what I what I'd do is, is is keep a kind of video diary of of that process. Um, parlor guitars incredibly popular at the moment. Initially popular in the 19th century, but much more of, of a renaissance um, today. Maybe that's because we, we're all living in a much smaller environment. The guitar is much, much more portable. Nice to have out, out in the living room, on the sofa or whatever, just to pick up and play whenever you want. Um, so I'm going to start designing this, my, my version of a parlor guitar pretty soon. I think most of the parlor guitars which are currently on, on the market are in fact too big. And my design is going to be based around this instrument here, which I think is a 19th century French in instrument. There's no label in it, but I'm, so I'm just really guessing that on the basis of its oval shape, method of construction, etc. And really what I want to do is base my parlor guitar um, on a European version, um, rather than it being a derivative of Washburns, Martins, etc., which everybody has seen hundreds of times before. I think one of the interesting things about this particular shape is the fact that you have a very tight waist and a comparatively large upper bout. It looks unusual, I think, to the, to, 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 to the, to the modern eye, but I think one of the advantages that, that it will have for such a small instrument is that this, this area here should give a greater volume of air, of air to the whole of, of the box and I think will give a, a much better bass response and more, more volume. So this is the shape which I'm going to base my instrument on. Um, this particular version is nylon strung. I'm going to do a, a, a steel string version. Um, probably a, slighter, a slightly longer scale length than this one um, so I can get a bit more tension in the, in the strings. Um, but I say that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few months, year, who knows. Um, so every now and then have a look and see how we're progressing. Thank you very much for taking the time.